uh, locomotive uh, in the light blue kits. You can see the uh, Rio Grande Valley Toros countering with the orange tops and the black shorts uh, for their kit here tonight. And we're underway here at HEB Park. Yeah, the Toros, uh, despite coming off a loss, uh, still have only that one loss in their last seven matches. So playing well as of late, we see a nice move by Josue Gomez, and he's pushed down from behind, and this is going to be a penalty kick right off the bat in just the game's second minute, not even 90 seconds after the opening kick. And Toros have not stopped a penalty this season. And you see Derek right there, ready against Solniak. These are two players to watch. Shot by Solniak is a goal, and the Locomotive are on top early, not even three minutes after the opening kick, and it's El Paso Locomotive taking the lead at HEB Park. First shot of the match, and could not have been done. In and you see the Toro was able to get a touch there on the corner, but it went over the crossbar. And here are the Toros once again, putting on some pressure, a turnover, Francois shot, save made. Not out of the woods yet is El Paso. As the ricochet went all the way to Hereda, who's able to get it upfield a bit. But a lot of pressure here by the Toros early on trying to get that equalizer. Oh, and this pass intercepted there by Galindras. Here's Davila with a shot and a score. And we're all tied up. It's game on here at HEB Park. And who else but Taylor Davila coming up huge in that situation. We mentioned second in the USL with 44 chances created. Make that 45. He also picks up his fourth goal of the year. That'll pull him into second on the team. And is a Swiss Army knife on the soccer pitch. And take a look at this attack right here. Moves to his left. Forces the defender to keep an eye on Francois. That gives him a wider look at right. And this is a rematch from uh, two weeks ago. They met up in El Paso. Southwest University Park. That was a 1-1 draw. And here's Francois moving in. Francois save made there by Diaz. Follow-up attempt toward the net is just wide by Cabretta. And the Toros nearly convert and take the lead. Wonder what Rio Grande Valley was going to do to apply enough pressure to stay in this. Take a look at Francois playing through the defender. Ends up being sent back his way by. Now the Toros. Don't have the best home record, two and three with five draws. As here's a chance here brewing for El Paso, moving in against Derek, and a shot and a score. It's Josue Gomez. Josue Gomez scores for El Paso Locomotive. He had scored against the Toros two weeks ago, tying up that game at 1-1, and now he gives his team a 2-1 lead. We said quick counters. They sent that ball deep, and Gomez uses that speed to get out in front of it. If that hadn't gone in, he probably was going to pick up a foul anyway, as from the backside. Here between El Paso Locomotive and the Rio Grande Valley Toros. Oh, and there's a soft pass there. Galindras intercepts, shoots, Diaz saves, and then it's cleared away. It looks like it'll be Cabretta right there who will be taking this free kick. Davila standing over to his right. They've got Pimentel kind of screening the keeper right now. Pimentel moves, shot, and it's a goal! A perfect strike by Taylor Davila! And the Toros have tied it once again! That is the second strike for Taylor Davila, having himself a match by Davila. And let me correct myself, Ricketts was the one providing the screen, but same effect there. And this one taking on a very different look from the first meeting two weeks ago, isn't it? And to put it kindly, that was a defensive stalemate for most of that match. We see Solniak with a shot there. Derek able to make the save. This one has been back and forth. The definition of a seesaw affair. Yeah, I think you're right. That was a good angle. Here's the corner. Coming in, in swinger. There's a header, another header, and it's a goal. And the Toros have taken the lead. Can you believe it? They've trailed twice and now have the lead for the first time. And it's Francois who does the honors. Third goal, just five foot seven. But he's able to clear some space in the box. And you see it here. Francois, I don't think that was Francois that touched that. That may have been an own goal. I think. So fifth corner of the first half, 45th minute. Davila sends this in toward the far post. A little bit of a touch there by Diaz. And now they're going to call a foul against the... Quickly feeds Ricketts. And now Cabretta with it. Team's goal leader moves into the area. 
Finds Galindras. Galindras unable to get turned, but there's a shot and a goal. Toros move two goals in front. It's Wilmer Cabrera with his seventh of the year. Grand Valley now doubling up El Paso. That's a spectacular pass by Galindres. Pulls the defenders over. Cabrera comes in. Nice strike with that left foot. And Galindres, uh, Galindres has had a heck of a night with two assists. Grand Valley put them in a really nice spot to have the lead. And now that they're holding the lead, kind of shifting their focus to being the possessive team. So they try to melt some of this clock. Oh, and here's a good chance inside. This is Cabrera. He goes down. And they're going to award a penalty kick. This will be a penalty kick as the referee points right to the spot. Jose Torres is going to have a chance to have a huge impact here. Torres wearing the captain's armband, shoots and scores! Wrong foot of the keeper and slices it right there into the back of the net. And Torres puts the Toros in front 5-2. to two. 35 to two, another look here at Jose Torres. He's 35, but he's got the energy. Big score there, and he tells his teammates, watch this, look what I got. Headed up top, El Paso able to keep it alive. Trying to get a shot here. McHugh moves inside. A nice move there by McHugh, able to center the ball. Nobody home there at the far post. Benitez trying to win the ball back from Kostaishin. Kostaishin able to pass it off and gets it to uh, Sonupe. The Englishman passes off to the left side. A chance here for El Paso. A shot and a save made by Derek. And it bounces right up and down to his feet. Should hear a whistle any moment now. And there it is. There's the whistle. Toros have won their third consecutive home match. Grab all three points tonight. And